hunting. All this magical hoo-ha. Welcome, dear patron, to the floor at the top of the stairs. If you have information about the night song, great riches await. If you are here to waste the great wizard Laroican's time, reconsider. You recognize this image projection spell from your studies, though you'd expect a great wizard to execute it less shoddily. Let your knowledge determine your path forward. Seems simple enough. The night song is an immortal being, the child of a deity. Claw. Uh, Craig's aim is much improved, but uh, still leaves something up to chance. Yes, sir. All right, Crank. Ready? Aim. Oh. Hmm. We have a visitor. That is, McClaw, you may go. See no night song. Uh, surely you wouldn't have entered my tower without the night song in hand. Surely you wouldn't have wasted my time. You'll have more gratitude than you know how to count once the night song is in my hands. Do you have it or not? She? Then you do know her. You've been to Shah's temple. To the Shadowfell. You've looked upon the Night Song's face. Tell me, and choose your next words carefully. Where is she now? meant to be some consolation. She, it, was the key to my immortality. How can this be? How can this be? Shit! Oh. Yes. All's well that ends. Mm -hmm. I was about to kill her.
got a long road ahead. <sighs> One day I'll catch a break. Below. to put my hands on everything. Careful, I might. Over here. What's that? A little further. Aye, aye. Orpheus with my own eyes. Spoken to Shestil Kithrak Vos. You lied to us. Enslaved us. The betrayer Vos lies! I have only a moment, and you, Hasharlak, will listen. We are Githyanki. We move mountains. We snuff out stars. We shake the plains. The traitor Voss has lied to you. The heretic prince would shatter us in an instant. The great dominion shrunk to the head of a pin. Can this be true? Is the Githyanki prince really a threat to his own people? Or simply a challenge to Vlakith's rule? Return to the Astral Prism. Slay Orpheus the Pretender. Serve me, and I will ascend you. You will be no mere warrior, nor Kithrak. You will be Barta Vlakith, Commander of Dragons. My only, my chosen. A final chance. Kneel before me. Make your promise. Lazel's thoughts become yours. The sight of Orpheus looms over her mind. Voss's words echo within it. She means to forever turn her back on Vlaketh. I gave you my faith 
And you called me traitor. I gave you my life, and you ordered your knights to hunt me. I have witnessed too much, and you have given me too little. Finally, I can see. Orpheus will live, and I will hear his creed. This is my word. Your word is nothing! You are nothing! The Kithraki will win you. I will tear your flesh from your bones and devour your skull's marrow while you beg for death. I will consume you. I will unmake you. Swift as my feet can carry me. Always at your side. It is done. There is no going back. As long as the Undying Queen reigns, I am never to soar unbound over the Astral Sea. Never to cross the One in the Void. As it should be. Better a short life built on truth than immortality woven of lies. Better to unite the Githyanki under a prince who would free their minds and honor their bodies. So why do I feel so bitter? Yes, from doubt rises certainty. Orpheus, the prince of the comet, he is living truth. Undeniable. I will have a home in Tunarath yet, and Orpheus will be the light that guides me there. I have been born anew in Gith's son, my savior. And so from the old battle cries is birthed another. Shmar Salar Orpheus must still now forge an Inyeri. Orpheus's will above all. May the comet blaze my path forward. Orpheus's freedom is my want and my need. To deny his freedom would be to deny my own. There will come a time when I can think about myself beyond the Lich Queen who enslaves the Githyanki and the Prince who would liberate them. But that time won't come until the Prince of the Comet flies again. Vlakith's left hand and her right, commander of all dragons, chosen of the Queen Regent. Not since Vlakith won has a Bart of Vlakith been anointed. <sighs> Another empty promise. Only a naive fool would believe otherwise. The kind of fool I was not so long ago. We take the Orphic Hammer from Raphael's lair. Orpheus Tafki Nazin. Voss has done his duty. Now, we will do ours. We must find our way to the House of Hope and take the Orphic Hammer. When we next enter the Astral Prism, we will use the Hammer to break Orpheus free. Leave him some time and then... Well, well, look what the bugbear dragged in. Can't believe we both made it to the city and with our limbs attached. We did, didn't we? Never thought I'd begrudge being alive. Alas, I've got nothing in my pockets but lint and disappointment. How are you both humble and attractive? It's just not fair, nor will my honor allow it. So how about this? Alan puts swill in the bottles, but I know where he keeps the good stuff. Here. 
You saw nothing. You heard nothing. I need to get back to work before Alan throws a fit. But stick around. You brighten the place up. Aye, aye. Pull up a seat. If you can find one spare, that is. I tell you what, the murder upstairs has brought some punters, but it's also really spooked folk out of renting rooms. If we get you staying up there, perhaps folk will calm down and realize there's nothing to worry about. You can have the whole upstairs floor until this killer thing blows over. Top floor's all yours. If it gets a bit too noisy at night, well, don't sleep above a pub. Hold up, citizen. This is a crime scene. No admittance. Halt, Civi. Turn back. This is an active crime scene. Hold on, Thorneal. I'm tired of standing here. devella has been up there for ages. Huh. Some diversion would be welcome. Chances are the constable will throw you down the stairs, but go ahead, citizen. I could deal with something to break the monotony. Stumbling's Parlor. A place to receive clients and informants. I wonder if it's as I remember it. Crime scene not open to public by order of the Flaming Fist. I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients. 